Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here now taking your calls at 270-9933. We got some Hello. salad. We're some making our own salad here. I brought some herbs <laughs> because now that the days are getting longer, if you have a nice sunny window, it's time to uh, get some herbs inside. Basil? Basil. We have mint. We have catnip for your cats. Um, thyme. Smells really good. And it, they will grow pretty quickly at this time of year. You got your seeds? And yes, I brought seeds too. You could do some sprouts in some pots. Super healthy for salads. And of course, it's almost St. Patrick's Day. So the shamrocks are in. Is that a real shamrock? That, well, yeah. Shamrock is oxalis. It's, that's the plant. And there's some... A lot of ornamental ones, and that's what that is. Very nice. Yeah. We'll take your calls <laughs> right after the break. 270-9933 is the number. Stay with us. Lisa Briggs is taking your calls. Let's start with Bill in Sun Prairie. Hi, Bill. Hello. Hi, what's the question? Uh, we just bought a house, and it has four climbing roses outside that nothing's been done to. They just look kind of frozen, and I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to them now or this spring. Well, they'll leave them alone for right now, but when it gets warmer consistently and they have buds breaking, you can go ahead and prune back any dead tips to a bud. And then if they look, after that, if they look really rangy, you can go in and take out about 25% of the oldest canes all the way down to the ground. And it's easy to tell that because the bark will start getting kind of craggy looking and gray. And that should help. Okay. All right, let's go to Shirley now in Madison. Hi, Shirley. Hi. I have a question. I have a flowering crab tree, and I don't know when to prune it. It needs pruning really bad. Well, the best time to prune any flowering tree that flowers early in the spring, so crabs, lilacs, magnolias, is right after they flower. Those kinds of trees set their flower buds in the spring right after they flower and so any pruning that you do to it now surely is going to cut off flowers if you've got branches that are diseased or are um, broken or anything like that go ahead and take those out just because they might be a hazard but then hold off until after they're done flowering all right more pruning question julie in madison hi julie julie you there oh yeah i'm here i'm sorry go ahead okay, go ahead Hi, yeah, I was just wondering when the best time was to cut back or prune black lace elderberry bushes. Julie, you can cut those back all the way to the ground in the spring. They bloom on new growth, unlike the crab apple, and they can get kind of leggy and whippy. So elderberries grow really quickly. You can take some of those whippy branches back by half, or if, they're, if you want to take them back even further, you can do that. So you can go ahead and do that now or once it starts to bud and this warm weather i mean it's going to get cold again what if trees it's, are starting to bud well it just depends on how far they get ornamental trees like um shade trees have secondary buds and so if there's damage they'll be fine i know there's concern because we had the deal with the fruit trees and grapes last summer last spring we had that late frost i don't know that they're so far developed yet that it's going to be a problem but it just depends and we were looking and like silver tip buds where it's just starting to show silver can withstand temperatures up to like two below before there's, or not two below, but two degrees before there's a lot of damage. The farther they get though, the more danger there is. Yeah, this is not natural. This, yeah, this, this is not natural, but mother nature is equipped. This happens. <laughs> it happens. And not everything dies. No, not everything. <laughs> All right, if you're on the line, stay there, at least we'll take your calls off the air speed.